What's up everyone? Back at y'all for another video. Now for this one, I am reviewing Back to the Future Part 3. Back to the Future Part 3. Now, um, I, I love all three of these movies. Um, if you haven't checked out my Back to the Future 1 and 2 reviews, please check those out. Um, Back to the Future Part 3 is just... It, it's a fitting end to, it's a great ending to the um, Back to the Future trilogy. Um, you know, I like how in this film, um, when they go back through time, they end up going through this West, the, the Western times, which is pretty cool. Um, it is pretty cool, and this one has a little bit of action in it too. Also, all these films have a little bit of action in it, but this one had... More than the first two did, and I appreciate that. Um, this one, I love this movie. Um, the ending is very surprisingly intense. The ending of this film is intense. Um, the guy named Doc, which is, of course, he's in all three of these movies, um, he ends up falling in love with this girl, and, of course, back in the Western times, you know, when they went time traveling, he, in this film, he, um, he starts falling in love with this girl and stuff. And you got a good love story going on in this film. And this film was a fitting end to the Back to the Future movies. But they also made to where if they wanted to, they can make a they could have made a fourth film if they wanted to. Because the way this ends, it's like it's a good fitting end to it. And it's all they also made it made it to where if they wanted to, they can make a fourth chapter if they wanted to. Because at the end, you know, they finished everything. The time machine thing gets destroyed by the train and shit and, and stuff. And um, they it was a fitting end to this trilogy. And also, um, they made it to where if they wanted, they could have made another one. Because, you know, this train ended up being, this one train ended up being um, freaking magical now. Like, like the time machine, the time machine car was. And um and stuff and then you know when he went back to the future again you know at the end of the movie he comes back and all of a sudden he has like kids um with that girl and stuff and stuff and then it's like the future is not written anymore and then they ride the um train all the way up in the air so if they wanted to they could have made a movie with that um with Doc and and his wife and kids doing the um going back to the future and stuff they, if they would have wanted to so this film does have a fitting into the trilogy and if they wanted to they left it open if they wanted to they could have done it but the but the trilogy is just flawless flawless it's good it's great you know i love all three of these movies it's a fitting into this franchise in general but of course they're making a um Remake or reboot or something with Tom Holland supposedly that could be rumors for all we know because there's always a lot of rumors going around and um, I, I wouldn't mind seeing it you know it could, it could probably work it it might work because you know they might explore difference about differences about the future in the remake like they might go to twenty thirty four or twenty fifty or something in the future into the future so. There's a lot they could probably do there. <laughs> and stuff. So the Back to the Future trilogy is flawless. There's a scene where this, um, the main character of this film beats the shit out of this one asshole. Which is, that was very satisfying. Um, and the ending is super intense. Super intense. I'm not going to go into full detail about the ending. Because there's some things that the people that haven't seen it, which is... There's a lot of people that probably have seen this movie because they probably a lot of y'all probably watched this whole um, series, you know, this whole franchise of Back to the Future because the classic is old. They're old movies, but but I can't believe this was my first time watching the whole trilogy. But I don't want to spoil too much just in case some y'all haven't seen it because probably are some people that haven't watched all these movies because um, this is my first time watching all three of these movies and that a fun journey. Throughout these films. Um, and I enjoy. Back to the Future Part 3. A damn lot. This film might be my favorite one in the franchise. I think it is. 
my favorite one in the um Back to the Future Back to the Future series. Um I think it is. I think it is because I don't got no negatives to say about this movie. All I have to say is it's a very good movie, well done. Um well done film. If I had to rate this movie, I would have to give it a ten out of ten. This movie's a ten out of ten. Um and I don't hear people talk about this movie. This movie might be underrated because a lot of people probably don't like this movie. A lot of people I hear a lot of people either talk about the first one or the second one. They don't talk about the third one. So a lot of people might not like the third one. Which is I wouldn't understand why. Because I enjoy this film a lot. Um so yeah, it's a ten out of ten movie. I'm officially a Back to the Future fan. Now if they come out with the remake I'll check it out. You know, I'll check out the remake because I enjoy this whole entire trilogy. And I and it, it, but I don't want them to mess it up. I don't want them to mess the remake up. They need to come up with some decent storylines with the Back to the Future. You know, they, if they're gonna do a remake, they need to do a better, great story. They need to do a great story. So yeah, um, this film is flawless. Like I love this film. I don't got no negatives to say about this movie. Other than it's a great movie, fun movie. I think it's even more funner than one and two, which is one and two are very fun movies, very fun movies. But this one takes it up to another level because of awesomeness. Because they managed to um, finish off this trilogy incredibly well, and um, I give props to them. This movie is just the people that worked on this movie. Was just incredible, credible acting and stuff in this in these films. Um, so yeah, and they have some comedy scenes here and there with in the film. So yeah, this film is ten out of ten for me. Um, it's a very fun movie, well done. I'm, I was never bored. That's why I'll give it a ten out of ten for Back to the Future Part Three. I love this movie. I love the hell out of this movie. So yeah. 10 out of 10 for Back to the Future Part 3. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share. And also hit the bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now I'm out. Peace.